This introduction to the larynx and hypopharynx was created by Beyond Five for the benefit of patients and families affected by laryngeal and hypopharyngeal cancer. The larynx, or voice box, does three important things. It makes sound, voice, so you can talk, lets air into the lungs when you breathe, and helps stop food going down into the lungs when you're eating and drinking. The larynx is made of cartilage. Its main parts are the upper part, called the supraglottis, the middle part, called the glottis, and the lower part called the subglottis. The supraglottis contains a flap of tissue called the epiglottis that prevents food from spilling into the voice box and entering the lungs and causing infection. The glottis contains the vocal cords, which open when breathing and close when talking and swallowing. The subglottis is directly below the vocal cords, where the larynx joins the trachea, or windpipe. Cancer that starts in any part of the larynx is called laryngeal cancer. Cancer of vocal cords can also be called glottic cancer. Surrounding the larynx is a horseshoe-shaped part of the throat called the hypopharynx, which leads into the esophagus, the food pipe, or gullet. The parts of the hypopharynx that lie on either side of the larynx are called the piriform sinuses. They are like funnels that channel food into the food pipe. Cancer that starts in the hypopharynx is called hypopharyngeal cancer. The larynx and the hypopharynx make sure that food and liquids go down the right way. When you swallow, the epiglottis and the vocal cords close tightly to block food entering the windpipe. The vocal cords are controlled by the laryngeal muscles and nerves, which can be damaged by cancer of the larynx and hypopharynx. Cancer of the larynx or hypopharynx may cause a hoarse voice because they affect how the vocal cords move, cause difficulty swallowing, or breathing, because they block the passage of food and air. And finally, they may allow food and liquids to enter the windpipe, causing you to cough or develop chest infections, because the vocal cords don't close properly. We call this aspiration, when food or water gets down to the lungs. These symptoms may not be due to laryngeal or hypopharyngeal cancer. However, if you have any of these symptoms for more than a few weeks, talk to your doctor so that problems can be diagnosed and treated as early as possible. If laryngeal or hypopharyngeal cancers spread to lymph nodes, there may be a lump in the neck. Lymph nodes are bean-shaped glands in the neck that are part of the immune system's defense against infection. Laryngeal and hypopharyngeal cancers can be treated with surgery or radiation therapy. Many patients receive a combination of treatments, including chemotherapy. Depending on the size and the location of the cancer, your specialist will suggest treatment options that are suitable for you. For further information, please visit www.beyond5.org.au.